Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how to set up and configure Podman. Podman is a tool that allows you to manage containers, pods and images. It is very similar and compatible with Docker, but from my opinion a little bit more secure. Alright, let's do this. So I have here a virtual machine that I'm going to log into and I'm going to install Podman. And let's start by configuring the system. Here I can see that my system is running a ZFS file system. In case you'd be running an UFS file system, you could edit the file user local etc containers storage and search for the driver ZFS and replace this with VFS. In this case, we're not going to need this because we are running ZFS. One thing that we need to do though is to edit uh, etc fs tab and get the fdesk in the slash dev fd fdesk fs read write zero zero and now we can do mount dash a and we should see that the fdesk fs is mounted under slash dev slash fd next we need to copy the user local etc containers pf conf sample to etc pf dot conf we look at the our network card so for that we do if config and it's called em0 and we edit the file etc pf dot conf and here in the v4 and v6 egress we configure em0 the rest we can just leave as it is notice the net anchor we're going to need this um, afterwards let's enable uh, the pf firewall sysrc pf enable equals yes and service pf start. Now we need to enable the following cctl net dot pf dot filter local and we set it to one and we need to edit the registry so we edit the file user local etc containers registries dot conf and we go to the end of the file and we add the following unqualified search registries equals and here we put very simply docker.io we also enable the podman service so sysrc podman enable equals yes service podman start and we also want to have Linux containers, so we say sysrc Linux enable equals yes and service Linux start. Now we are ready to try the hello world container. But before that, let's search for podman search alpine. And here we get a lot of containers which are alpine containers. So let's pull one of them, podman run. We want to remove the container after being run. We set the operating system to be Linux. We pull the container Alpine and we get etc os-release. So the container is being pulled now. And we see that we have Alpine Linux version 3.21. We can get a command line, so podman run dash it so dash dash it we want to remove we want os to be linux we get alpine and we go for bin ash no it is definitely dash it now we can see that we are inside the container and here we have the apk package manager and we can add the best text editor we know apk add vim so it's installing vim in the container and let's see vim yes it's working 
as we wanted. We can try also uh, to run a Haskell interpreter, for example, podman run dash it dash dash rm dash dash os equals linux Haskell. All right, so uh, Haskell has started, as you can see, version 9.10.1. Let's try it. Print hello world. Yes, it works. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have some questions or comments, please use the space down below. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care and bye bye.